Hey guys, how are we doing? So I just got home from Australia, so I thought, what better thing to do than a week-long challenge to keep myself a little bit entertained? So this week, I'm going to be vegan for the week. So that means no meat. I'm already vegetarian, so that won't be a problem. But no animal byproducts, meaning no dairies at all, no eggs, honey, anything like that. So the reason I'm doing this is because, A, I want to keep myself a little bit busy while I'm adjusting to life in quarantine back in the freezing cold temperatures of Canada, as well as I'm lactose intolerant and vegan's been an end goal of mine for a while now. So I'm really excited to see how my body feels after cutting all of that stuff out. So I'm gonna take you through a couple of my favorite recipes that I'm cooking, as well as a little bit of my regular kind of morning routine. And at the end of it, I'm excited to share with you how I feel. Anyways, talk to you guys on the other side. <laughs> So originally I was planning on making seven full huge meals and documenting them but honestly um, I got a little bit lazy and also I ended up making it in bulk and having so much leftovers I didn't actually need to make seven meals. I probably made about like four um, but I didn't even put them all in here because I realized that it's pretty boring watching 15 minutes of me just like stirring around food in a pot. So I've made sure to include some of my favorite most delicious meals that, um, and I'll explain a little bit about them as well. So every morning I make sure to have my shake. It provides me with all of my nutrients. It's basically a multivitamin in a milkshake form. Okay, so I just found a way to make the shake a game changer. I find with vegan shakes in general, they're usually a little bit more grainy. But what I did with this one is I blend it for 30 seconds, I hand shake it for 30 seconds, and then I blend it for another 30 seconds. And it makes it so creamy. But the thing with me is I really love the crunchiness of the ice. So what I did is I added cocoa nibs in it. And that way I'm still kind of giving me the crunchiness and it's extra chocolatey. I put a little bit of cocoa powder and some drops of dark chocolate stevia as well as hazelnut stevia. So literal game changer, this tastes like a milkshake. <laughs> Every single day I am sure to have my morning vitamins which comes all in kind of liquid forms as well as the other supplements I take that's not pictured in this video but I have three things. I have my greens is my daily serving of vegetables inside my drink because I don't know about you but even though I do consume vegetables it's hard to get every type of vegetable that I actually need. The cleanse is as it sounds, a cleanse. So it goes through your body and it cleanses out all of those toxins from your fat, from your liver, everything. So it just ensures that you're staying as healthy as possible. It's filled with tons of antioxidants as well. So it's super great for you. And lastly, the Ionics is a stress support. So it contains natural adaptogens that basically go through your body and help balance your hormone levels and just help get rid of all of that unnecessary stress. So this is just have it every single morning all together. It feels like I just drink like two shots of espresso minus the jitteriness and there's no caffeine. It's just because of how many vitamins and minerals is in this. So that's my morning routine every single day. Um, and then followed by some of these recipes. So first I made sushi and that was a really cool process. So I just used rice. Um, I didn't have sushi rice, so I just overcooked it a little bit. And when I went to go get actual seaweed to roll it in, I couldn't find any, so I just got little snacking seaweed. So I, um, it's really, really like flaky and dry. So I just had to dampen it a little bit. Um, if you do it that way, you actually have to let it dry a little bit as well. So it's kind of a longer process. But it was really, really good. I just put avocado in it. And I use soy sauce and vegan mayo for the dip. Definitely recommend this for, uh, to my sushi fans. So the tofu zen bowl is one of my favorite meals that I made. So I fried up some tofu, I fried it in coconut oil for about like 10 minutes and then I threw it in the oven for around 20 minutes and I seasoned that with lots of garlic and onion powder and all the stuff I like. And then for the sauce for this, I used a vegan mayonnaise base. I put a little bit of mustard in it, a little bit of lemon in it, some garlic and just some uh, more of those spices. I put edamame in it, which is so yummy. That's soybean, so lots of protein there for you. And I just bought it frozen throw it and boil it really, really, really fast. And then I sauteed up some garlic, onions, and spinach to put on top of the bowl. So usually this is a rice or quinoa based bowl, but I actually found rice and quinoa pasta. So I used that instead, which is really good because I'm such a pasta fan. So highly recommend that. Threw in some sun-dried tomatoes, chopped them up, and of course, avocado for that omega-3. 
So for my curry dish, I just chopped up all of my favorite veggies, so you can really put whatever veggies you want. And if you want an extra level of yumminess to this, fry up your veggies first. I was a little lazy, so I just threw it all in the pot, and I boiled it in water mixed with a vegetable broth cube, or you can just go up and straight, straight up buy like vegetable broth, or just water. It's not as flavorful if it's just water, but still really good. And then I put coconut milk in it as well, as well as some coconut oil. I put in a couple tablespoons of vegan mayonnaise because I love my mayonnaise, and it just made it a little bit creamier. And what I found to be the secret ingredient was I squeezed half a fresh lemon in it, as well as a tablespoon or two of maple syrup. And it doesn't make it overly sour or sweet at all, but I just find it added an extra flavor to it that I've never really experienced before. And it was so good. It brought it up to the next level. I also put a little bit of dill in there as well, just a tiny bit, but that really added a lot of flavor alongside some tofu. I didn't pre-fry this. It would be really good if you did, but I kind of wanted to have a little bit of softer tofu in it as well as chickpeas just for all of that extra protein so highly recommend trying this at home it is so yummy you can throw in any spices you want I just split stick to kind of the gar the the usual like, garlic and onion powder as well as obviously a bunch of curry I probably threw in like two three four tablespoons of curry so I just kept oh, I'm an over seasoner so don't take my word for how much seasoning um, but I definitely always put in more than the recommended amount so my vegan challenge is officially over and it was awesome. Honestly, I would do it again for sure. Uh, being vegan has always kind of been a bit of an end goal of mine. I've been vegetarian for three years now um, for, yeah, animal rights, but mainly environmental factors, but I can get into that in another video if anybody wants to know. Uh, but yeah, the only thing that I found difficult was not being able to have my whey shakes. So as you know from the video, I drink shakes every single morning and I found that the whey actually agrees with me a little bit better than the vegan does, which is strange because I'm I'm actually lactose intolerant but our shakes our whey shakes are just so pure that um it doesn't make me feel any of that discomfort that dairy normally does actually it really just ensures that i feel really good and everything just kind of passes through as it should so i definitely am going to incorporate some of the vegan shakes into my regular diet more often but i definitely want to continue drinking the whey shakes in terms of dairy in general um I definitely am going to be more active to try to stay away from it because i mean the dairy industry in itself isn't the best especially when it comes to yeah animal agriculture and like that impacts on the environment and stuff and plus just being lactose as well just like it it's better for me that way so i definitely recommend if you want to challenge yourself um to try being vegan even if it's for a few days to a week because you might be shocked by the results um it really just yeah my body feels pretty good afterwards and yeah still it's still a you know long-term goal of mine so maybe one day but to all you vegans out there keep it up it's hard because so many things have dairy in them but you know um it was a good experience and i'm really happy that i did it i hope you enjoyed watching